Tucked in the mountains of Northern California is the Hoopa Valley Reservation, where the Hoopa people have lived for more than 10,000 years. It's the place Jada McCovey calls home. She is a Hoopa tribal member and also Yurok and Karuk. At the community's heart is the Trinity River, and that's where we met Jada in this canoe, handmade by her grandfather. No matter what I do or what pathway I decide to go down, like being indigenous comes first. McCovey is preparing to soon leave her beloved home to go to school at the University of California at Davis, nearly 300 miles away. I always wanted to go to UC Davis, like since I was really young, and I just didn't know how it was going to happen financially or whether I had the tools in my pocket to make it happen. In the next few weeks, she will join the first class of the University of California's Native American Opportunity Plan, a program that began this semester. It ensures that in-state tuition and fees are covered by grants and scholarships for California students who are from federally recognized Native American tribes. How'd that make you feel? It was amazing. It felt for the first time like while we're really being recognized and seen and not only seen but valued. Jada interned for her tribe's environmental program and hopes to study environmental science and Native American studies when she transfers to UC Davis in January. This is just one of our traditional houses. And she says she'll bring that knowledge right back here to Hoopa Valley. There's just a higher sense of comfort and belonging here. Um, is that something you think you have to give up going to Davis? It's almost something I have to sacrifice, at least temporarily. In the plan's first semester, 200 Native American students were able to enroll in University of California campuses, a step forward in what is currently a sharply underrepresented community across the prestigious and expensive university system. Michael Drake is the president of the UC system. This is your university, and this is a, a way of us, one of the ways that we can help to to demonstrate uh, how much we like, want to have you here. Among the great institutions of learning... Of which no doubt having more than $15,000 in tuition and fees covered is a huge leg up. But consider this, dozens of universities across the country were funded by taking Native American land, 11 million acres of it. Including 150,000 acres that funded the University of California. How do we support Native Americans when we, we built our institutions on, on stolen land. Well, I think that's something that the entire nation really is, is confronting. As we look at and confront our past challenges, to try to recognize that, to acknowledge that, and then I think figure out what we can do moving forward to create a better and more inclusive future. And across the UC system, American Indian and Alaska Native students report feeling less respected on campus than other groups. And they have lower graduation rates than all other students at 77%. Staying close to my community was a big thing that almost held me back, but I knew that if I came, I was going to make a bigger impact on my community. Dawn Julia Grant is Yurok and Karuk. She grew up on her tribal land in Northern California, but a lack of resources and a turbulent home life growing up made this prestigious campus feel out of reach. I was couch surfing like all high school mostly. Now at age 17, she's a first year student at Berkeley, studying architecture and living in the dorms. Everything I have here is everything I have. Yeah, so I'd like nothing to go back to. With everything on the line, Grant says this program is a step in the right direction. Seeing people around me in my community fall into the cycle of drug abuse, alcohol abuse, and I didn't want to fall into that cycle. I wanted to break it. I'm very grateful for the tuition waiver, but there's more that can happen. This is from my site visit. Perhaps the only thing more daunting for these students than leaving home is the fear of failure. There's always this worry in the back of my mind. What if I don't have enough to fully support myself? There's not really like a backup plan for me. Leaving behind what will always be home for the promise of what's ahead. I think it's a new opportunity for me to really push myself and see like what I'm capable of doing. Those fears shared by both Julia and Jada are understandable given what's at stake for these students. But UC President Drake says there is counseling available to native students like for all students in the UC system. And some campuses including UC Berkeley also have Native American community centers. 
Getting to a UC is one thing, but having the support to succeed is quite another.